Hey, I know this is kind of gross and I didn't want to upset you with it, but this is something you need to do at least once a year. Have a look at this water heater. It's a very common RV water heater where the anode rod, which originally looked like this, now looks like this. This anode rod is designed to attract calcium and dissolved rock in water sources and erode to protect your water heater. What a lot of people don't do, they'll replace the rod when it comes time like this one is, but what a lot of people don't realize is that up inside here, inside the actual water heater itself, is probably an inch or so of this dissolved rock, which means every time that you go to heat your water, you actually have to heat up a bed of rock before you're actually heating your water. The other thing is, if you notice the size of some of these particles are very, very tiny. And in some circumstances, pumping the water from that water heater up through your pump into your faucets, these little pieces can get caught at the end of your faucets and now you have an irregular water flow. So hey, once a year, flush this thing out. We just showed you how to